the YouTube report by Yashleen and Ajahn. Introduction. Purpose. The purpose of this lab was to prove that a plant can in fact produce oxygen. Some background information. A plant needs oxygen to burn. So if you put a candle in a closed jar, it would burn out eventually. Now if a plant produces oxygen, the candle in the jar with a plant should burn out after the candle without a plant. Hypothesis. What I think will happen is that the jar with the plant inside will last longer because they can work together. What I mean is that both of them are trading things. The plant needs CO2, or carbon dioxide, while the flame needs oxygen. And since both of them need the opposite of which the other needs, the plant needs CO2, which the flame provides, and the flame needs oxygen, which the plant provides. So both of them are helping each other out until the other gives up, which in this case would be the flame, because it can only give off so much oxygen until the wax runs out. And then the flame will disappear. Distinguish. Materials. So, you need two glass jars with lids covering both of them. Now, make sure that the lids are not plastic because in our case they were and that burned. So, and we had to use tinfoil afterwards. So, that's why the two sheets of tinfoil is also optional. Now, one plant that will fit inside one of the jars. You don't need a plant inside both. Uh, two wax candles about eight centimeters in height, a lighter or a match, and also if uh, in, for the fire you could get help from an adult or a parent or anyone if you need it. Now, procedure. So here it is. First you have to take two jars and place them side by side. Secondly, you place the plant in one of the jars, and you place a candle in both of them, and make sure the plant doesn't touch the flame, okay? Then you light both of the candles with a match, or you could use another candle or a lighter. Basically, the point is you have to light them, and try to make them at the same time as possible. Then, you cover the top of the jars with uh, their lids. And in this case, we also have tin foil as, as I said, the lids burn. Finally, you have to just watch until one of the flames distinguish. That's it. Oh, and collect data on the way. You know, which distinguished first, what time it distinguished, just so you know for observations. jar 2 is gone, the flame is gone, jar 1 is still burning. And jar 1 has officially burnt out. Now, so points of error. This has been already stated many times. The lid burned. This may have affected the results. The jar slightly moved when I tried to fix the lids. You know, they weren't tight enough. Um, they weren't lit at the same time exactly, and the lids weren't placed at the same time. Exactly. Observations. So, the candle stopped burning time, okay? So, jar 1, 156. Jar 2, 132. As you can see, this is a 24 second difference. So, jar 1 had a smaller flame than jar 2, 
But Jar 1's flame was in, almost entirely blue, whereas Jar 2's flame was mostly yellow and kind of orange. And Jar 1's flame lasted 24 seconds longer. Discussion. Blue fire has a lot of oxygen, whereas yellow or orange flame lacks oxygen. So even though jar 1 had a small flame, it had more oxygen than jar 2 as its flame was blue and the jar 2 flame was orangish yellow. Two of the same types of candles were placed in two of the same type of jars and the only difference was that jar 1 also had a plant. When the candles were lit, jar 1 candle produced a small flame where, which lasted longer than the larger yellow slash orange flame that jar 2 candle had. As the only difference between the two jars had been the plant, that can only be the reason for the difference in results. So the plant produced oxygen which allowed jar one candle to have a longer lasting and stronger flame. The end.